Hey guys, I am back. I know people have been questioning me. Oh, where you been? You gotta film another video? And it's crazy because actually more people question me than I even imagined in person and over social media. So you guys will glad to be, be glad to know I am back with another video. And this video will kind of be answering that question. Where have you been? So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So I, the last video I made was months ago, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. I could double check. I think it was either two or three. So that all makes sense in my head because I did indeed accept the full-time position. Um, I, you all know I graduated and everything and I was looking for a full-time job. I did find one. So I accepted one and then I also kept my part-time job, you know, kind of as a backup plan. So... I accepted the full-time position and then kept the other one, so I was working that. So it was pretty much, I mean, depending on the week, 50-some hours a week plus, who knows. Then I did make sure to cut down so it would be 48, so that was kind of taking up my time, you know. And then I only like to really film in the morning time, so that I only left one day, which would be Saturday. And sometimes I had to work on Saturday, so you never even know if that day was left, but whatever. We're not going to get into all of that, but that was kind of tying up some time that is but that may sound like an excuse who knows but honestly this is what really was going on so I, I pretty much took a position stepped into position and then I was there and I was just like hmm I don't really like this you know you never know it wasn't really a good fit I'll say, I'll say but I was just sticking it out like okay you know at the beginning like sometimes it's just like oh you're the new kid in town maybe that's why you don't like it maybe it's just you have to get custom to what you're doing and maybe they don't like it. Time goes on, I'm still like, mm, I'm pretty sure this is not what I what I wanna do. I'm, this is not what, this is not really for me. So then I'm just like battling with myself, like, oh, just stay there, just save us the money, you'll be good. Then another part of me like, just just quit, like you, there's better out there, you'll, you'll be good. So it's just kind of a, so then I mean, I just, I prayed about it. I, I talked to God about how much, like, I'm like, I know you would not want me in a position where I am miserable. And if miserable wasn't the word, miserable was the word. So I just, I mean, I just kept, I kept pushing on, kept trying to make it fit. And it's almost like when you have that puzzle piece and you don't know where it goes, you just try to shove it in there. That puzzle piece does not go there. So you just need to remove it. So I just felt that I needed to remove myself from the situation. So I indeed... Indeed, I removed myself. I did quit. I, t I went in and I told him, I told him, I said, I'm sorry, but this is not a good fit. And he, it was just like, what? Really? I mean, it was a shock to him, I guess. But I honestly didn't think it was going to be a shock. So it was kind of weird because he was like questioning me about it. And I'm just like, I don't like it. Like, there's nothing for me to say, but that's, that's really the reason. Like, I don't like anything about it. So, and I just putting this video out there to encourage somebody that, don't stay in a position that you know is not for you. And I'm not even talking about just jobs. I'm talking about relationships, friendships, anything that you know when things are for you and when they're not for you. And I knew in my heart of hearts that that was not for me. I just kept trying to make it work, just kept trying to push through. And I mean, it was like, yeah, I wanted to stay with money. Yeah, I wanted to get it over on my resume. But then I realized, like, we need to, there's other ways. Like, you're staying in that relationship that's not for you. And there's somebody out there who is for you. So I'm just encouraging you to keep on keeping on. And just realize that sometimes the best thing you can do is leave a situation. And I and I know, and I as I left, I mean, I thought like, oh, well, I'm leaving this salary position. I mean, I'm getting used to these checks coming in, blah, blah, blah. But then I also thought that God will provide, and I know he will. So, I, I mean, I started putting in applications. I started looking into new positions, and I realized that you have to realize what you have to offer. And I, I looked at my resume, I redid my resume and everything. I started to realize like, Anita, you have so much to offer and why would you stay in a position that doesn't allow you to utilize all your skills and abilities? So I just I just started applying to other places and everything. And then it was the day I was, I told myself I was gonna quit on this day. And then I, I kept battling with myself. I was gonna quit as soon as I went in and I didn't do it because I just, I wasn't sure. And then next thing I know, I go on my lunch and I wasn't even supposed to stay to lunch. I was gonna leave before then, but then on my lunch, I get a call and I hit ring, ring. And I'm like, hello, is this Vanita? And I'm like, yes. And call and ask me to come in for an interview. And I was like, see, look at God. He will give you signs that you need. And it was and it was funny because that interview, if I was staying in the position, I couldn't go to the interview because guess what? they only interview between nine to five and I mean I work eight to five so there would be no way so 
I didn't end up setting up the interview for Friday. That Friday, this, this I got the call on Wednesday. I ended up setting the interview up for Friday, and I did. I did quit on Thursday because I just said this isn't for me, and I, I talked to the man and everything. And I did thank him for the opportunity because I believe that it was a good opportunity. I said somebody else would love this, just not me. So I mean, when I got that call, it was like, and I had prayed for. I said, God, I pray for divine intervention. I pray that you will send a sign, and I believe that that was a sign. That was a sign I needed. And I got it, and I ran with it. I said, okay. So then even that day, I got the sign, I was cool and everything, and I still just, it just wasn't the moment for me to quit. I just felt like there was some, there was like big people up in there. So I was like, all right, I'll just wait till tomorrow. So then the next day I had a doctor's appointment out where I uh, worked and my work, my work is like 30 minutes away from my house. So I was out there and I was like, all right, I'll just, I'll just quit before my doctor's appointment. Then the guy who was in the tell, he's like, oh, I'm going to be out all day. Y'all just letting you know, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, I got to do it early. I got to do it sooner. So I, I mean, he was on the phone and I was just in there. I was just you know sweat just starts stripping you just start getting nervous i don't know why i was so nervous then i finally when i finally tell him i mean there was kind of reason to be nervous because the question like why blah, blah blah but i'm like whatever so i did it and i didn't and when i walked out of that I couldn't have felt better i mean i just felt like i know this is what i needed to do so then i was able to go to the interview and actually i ended up getting another call for once i ended up going to two one day <sighs> that was exhausting. I don't know if I ever do something like that again, but I did make it to round two for both. So hopefully those work out. Even if they don't work out, I still believe that God will provide. I still believe that things will get better. And I, I believe that, that what's for me will always be for me. That's what I'm going to say. So I just encourage you to go what's for you and don't settle for things that maybe, maybe good for somebody else, but if they're not good for you and you know that God has called you to better things, then I, I challenge you to go forth where you've been called to go. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I hope that this story can inspire somebody else. And I will keep you updated on what's going on. But I just know that the best feeling is when you walk away from something that you know is not for you. So I encourage you to walk away from those things that you know aren't for you. Those things that are just a headache, make you miserable, that just, they just don't feel right. And you know they're not right. Walk away. I challenge you to walk away. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodaloo.